chapter 26. When you arrive in the land the Lord your God is giving you as a special possession, and you have conquered it and settled there, put some of the first produce from each harvest into a basket and bring it to the place the Lord your God chooses for his name to be honored. Go to the priest in charge at that time and say to him, With this gift I acknowledge that the Lord your God has brought me into the land he swore to give our ancestors. The priest will then take the basket from your hand and set it before the altar of the Lord your God. You must then say in the presence of the Lord your God, My ancestor Jacob was a wandering Aramean who went to live in Egypt. His family was few in number, but in Egypt they became a mighty and numerous nation. When the Egyptians mistreated and humiliated us by making us their slaves, we cried out to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. He heard us and saw our hardship, toil, and oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with amazing power, overwhelming terror, and miraculous signs and wonders. He brought us to this place and gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. And now, O Lord, I have brought you a token of the first crops you have given me from the ground. Then place the produce before the Lord your God and worship him. Afterward, go and celebrate because of all the good things the Lord your God has given to you and your household. Remember to include the Levites and the foreigners living among you in the celebration. Every third year you must offer a special tithe of your crops. You must give these tithes to the Levites, foreigners, orphans, and widows, so that they will have enough to eat in your towns. Then you must declare in the presence of the Lord your God, I have taken the sacred gift from my house and have given it to the Levites, foreigners, orphans, and widows just as you commanded me. I have not violated or forgotten any of your commands. I have not eaten any of it while in mourning. I have not touched it while I was ceremonially unclean, and I have not offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the Lord my God and have done everything you commanded me. Look down from your holy dwelling place in heaven and bless your people Israel and the land you have given us, a land flowing with milk and honey, just as you solemnly promised our ancestors. Today the Lord your God has commanded you to obey all these laws and regulations. You must commit yourself to them without reservation. You have declared today that the Lord is your God. You have promised to obey his laws, commands, and regulations by walking in his ways and doing everything he tells you. The Lord has declared today that you are his people, his own special treasure, just as he promised, and that you must obey all his commands. And if you do, he will make you greater than any other nation. Then you will receive praise, honor, and renown. You will be a nation that is holy to the Lord your God, just as he promised.